Here's one fact about every gym leader in the main series game so far. Despite Brock being a rock type gym leader, in Generation 1, none of his Pokemon knew any rock moves, only normal type moves. This however was changed in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Misty makes a brief appearance in Super Smash Bros. Melee as a trophy, where instead of her in-game outfit, she instead has her wardrobe from the anime. Lieutenant Surge only uses one Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow, as opposed to multiple Pokemon in the other Gen 1 games. This is due to Pokemon Yellow partially mimicking the anime, and Lieutenant Surge in the anime only used a Raichu, so only uses a Raichu in Yellow. So far, Erika holds the record for the longest gap in the anime between her first and second appearance, being 1,153 episodes. To put that into perspective, that's currently more episodes than the entirety of One Piece. In the Pokemon manga, Koga served under Giovanni as part of Team Rocket. Other gym leaders that served with him were Lieutenant Surge and Sabrina. Koga's daughter Janine, in Black and White 2, has an illegal Crobat. It has both Hypnosis and Brave Bird, which are both egg moves that are impossible to have at the same time, since they're from two different Pokemon. Upon being a member of Team Rocket, Sabrina in the manga was one of the trainers that commanded Thu Pfizer, the Articuno Zapdos Moltres fusion that was used to fight against red, blue, and green. Despite Pokemon Yellow mimicking the anime, Blaine in this game doesn't use a magma in Generation 1, even though it's Blaine's most famous Pokemon. This is because Blaine was introduced a bit too late into the anime, where Pokemon Yellow was already being developed. Giovanni in Pokemon Stadium has his name misspelled. Normally his name has two ends, but in Stadium it only has one. This is due to the character limit, of trainers having a max of seven letters. In Japan, Blue is called Green, and he is the only gym leader that shares his name with the badge, since in Japan, the Viridian City badge is called the Green Badge. Faulkner is the only Johto gym leader whose TM doesn't match the type of his gym. This is because there were no flying type TMs that existed in Gen 2. There are multiple times where Bugsy refers to the move Megahorn as Megaphone. Whitney is the first Johto gym leader to use a Johto Pokemon, since half of the gym leaders in Johto only use Kanto Pokemon. Pretty disappointing if you ask me. When people think of the gym leader Morty, they have one of two images in their head, either dark clothing with a scarf, very ghost-like, or in bright blue clothing. This is how Morty originally looked in the early game artwork, anime and manga, however was redesigned a bit in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Personally think the Heart Gold and Soul Silver look fits him a lot more. In Pokemon Stadium 2, Chuck uses an illegal Sand Slash, having both the moves Metal Claw, an Egg move, and Rock Slide, a TM only in Gen 1. Impossible to have both at the same time. Jasmine may have been a rock type gym leader at first, but then changed to Steel when her Onyx evolved into Steelix. She is also associated with the Electric type, since one of her most famous Pokemon is her Ampharos, as well as using two Magnemites, which didn't become Steel type until Generation 2. Price, despite being the 7th gym leader, all of his Pokemon are lower level than the previous gym leader's highest level Pokemon. So far this is the only case in which this happens. Here's a pretty funny fact about Claire. In Gold and Silver, if the player obtains the Dragon Fang through a trade before getting it from the Dragon's Den, Claire will look down on the player and accuse them of cheating. Pretty funny that they added this. Roxanne in Pokemon Emerald, like most female gym leaders, uses an all-female team. However, in the rematches, uses an all-male team. This is also the case for Flannery and Winona. In the French version of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Broly directly references Twitch plays Pokemon, saying that he discovered the secret true power by staring at a Nartile for days and days, the animal that Omastar is based on. Watson is the only Hoenn gym leader that doesn't use a Hoenn Pokemon. Of course, his most famous Pokemon is arguably Manectric from the anime. However, in the original Ruby and Sapphire and the remakes, all of Watson's electric types are from the first generation, getting Electric and Manectric in Emerald. Flannery is the only gym leader whose team changes from the original Ruby and Sapphire to the remakes, swapping out one of her Slugmas for a Nummel. Norman is still to this day the only dad to the player in the main series games. Winona uses yet another illegal Pokemon. Swablu doesn't evolve until level 35, which her Altaria is level 33, and it also knows Dragon Dance, which it doesn't learn until level 40. Tate and Liza are the first twin gym leaders, and are in fact not both girls, 
as a lot of people for the longest time thought Tate was a girl due to his appearance looking very much like his sister, and being mistaken as a girl in the translations for the Pokemon Adventures. Wallace is still the only champion to have a full team of which all the Pokemon are of his type speciality. Other champions that have a type speciality uses at least one Pokemon that doesn't have their type. Juan, despite using a different team from Wallace, uses Wallace's exact team in the Pokemon anime instead of his Pokemon Emerald team. Rock is the only Sinnoh gym leader whose team stays the exact same between Down and Pearl and Platinum. Same Pokemon, same levels, same moves, etc. Absolutely nothing changed. Gardenia is the only gym leader that uses a starter Pokemon that the player has available at the beginning, in this case being Turtwig. In the battleground, when the player can rematch characters like gym leaders and the stat trainers, Maylene has the strongest Pokemon, being her Lucario at level 66, with everyone else's highest level Mon being only level 65. Here's Crusher Awake. Now here's Crusher Awake without his mask. Doesn't feel right, does it? Despite Drifblim being arguably Fantina's most well-known Pokemon, even having a dress themed after it, Fantina doesn't even use Drifblim in her Pokemon Platinum Gym Battle. Not until the rematch, anyway. Byron has yet another illegal Pokemon, this time in Black and White 2, being his Agron. It knows both Head Smash and Dragon Rush, both these moves being egg moves from two different Pokemon. In other words, impossible to have both of them at the same time. Candace in the Gen 4 games changes the ace of her team in each battle. In Diamond and Pearl, her ace is her Abomasnow. In Platinum, her ace is Frostlass. And in the Platinum rematch, her ace is Glaceon. In Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Volkner's Luxray knows the move Play Rough, which is impossible for Luxray to have, since it can only get it through TM in Sword and Shield, and if transferred, wouldn't keep the move. I don't know why these gym leaders are so for using hacked Pokemon, but still funny to notice. Silent, Chili, and Cress are the only gym leaders that don't appear at End's Castle to help at the end of Black and White. Cowards. The art for Lenora was changed slightly, where her apron acts more like a cape. This is because Lenora's apron, believe it or not, was found racially insensitive, so it was changed a bit. Berg is the only gym leader who completely replaces a Pokemon in the challenge mode for Black and White 2, ditching his Swadloon and using Shelmet and Carablast instead. Elisa is the only returning gym leader from Black and White 1 to have a complete redesign in Black and White 2. She also has a third redesign in Pokemon Masters. Clay has the exact same in-game team as he does in the anime. That's literally the most interesting thing I could find about Clay. Skylar in Black and White 2 has a pretty funny animation where her leg band disappears and then reappears. Bryson is the only ice gym leader whose team is pure ice type, no secondary types anywhere. Drayden and Iris have the exact same team for Black and White, with the only differences being their Pokemon's genders, Drayden having a male team and Iris having a female team, as well as some of their Pokemon's abilities being different depending on which gym leader you fight. In Black and White, before Charon became a gym leader and was instead a rival, Charon always left in the direction the player goes to next, whereas Bianca always left in the direction that the player just came from. Roxy is left-handed. Also, despite her being the second gym leader in Black and White 2, she was Ash's last gym leader battle in the Black and White anime, getting his eighth badge from Roxy. Marlon in the anime is voiced by Ed Paul, or Ted Lewis, the same voice actor for Tracy, James, Giovanni, Flint, and Santa Claus. Yes, Santa Claus was in Pokemon at one point. Viola was originally going to have a ponytail, but even though she doesn't in the games, she still has one in the anime. Grant is the first rock gym leader that isn't the first gym leader you face. Karina is the only gym leader in X and Y that has two pieces of versus artwork, one for the Mega Evolution battle, and one for the gym battle. Ramos has possibly more Pokemon than any of the gym leader, owning a lot of grass types. You thought Ash had a lot of Taurus? Look at all those Sunflora. Clement is heavily implied to be one of the people behind the Rotom decks. One of the reasons for this is that he's shown in the artwork for the Rotom decks. Something interesting about Valerie. In Pokemon Masters EX, according to Erica, Valerie's clothing costs over 500 big pearls, which if you translate it to Pokemon money, is around 2 million Poké Dollars. To put that into perspective, 
The most expensive item that the player can buy in any Pokemon game is $1 million. So yeah, that's a lot. For clothing especially. Olympia speaks almost entirely in haikus. Wolfric was the last gym leader that Ash faced in an official gym battle. That's pretty crazy to think about. Milo has the highest level Pokemon from a first gym leader, being his Elder Goss at level 20. Nessa uses a different Dreadnought from her gym leader battle and her other battles. Her Dreadnought in her gym leader battle is male and Dynamaxes, however in her other battles she uses a female Dreadnought that can Gigantamax. Kabu is the only Gala gym leader that isn't native to Gala, as he's originally from Hoenn. On B's record, you can see her, what looks like, admiring someone. Some people speculate this is a significant other, but I guess we'll never know for sure. If you look at Alistair's rare card, you can see him without his mask. He's also left-handed. Opal is the oldest gym leader at 88. Not that surprising. Bede is the second gym leader to change his type speciality, going from a psychic type trainer to the fairy type gym leader. This is second after Jasmine, who again changed from rock type to steel type. Gordy's name comes from Gordo, which means fat in Spanish. A bit harsh. The art for Melanie is a bit different to her in-game model. This is apparently to make her bust not look as big. Damn. Pierce is the first dark type gym leader. Not only that, but his Obstagoon also has max EVs in both defense stats. Not only is Marnie Pierce's younger sister, but she was also gifted her Malpico from Pierce, who caught it when she was only five years old. Raihan's uniform resembles Lance's outfit in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This is further referenced in the anime. Not that surprising if you wanted to take inspiration from one of the most famous Dragon type trainers. Katie has a logo on her apron, however in the reveal trailer for Scarlet and Violet, it shows her apron with a different logo on, most likely an unused one. Brassius is the only Paldea gym leader that isn't holding a Pokeball right before he calls out his first Pokemon. I know, despite having Magnemite as part of her outfit, never uses any of the Magnemite line on her teams. Kofu is a chef who specialises in seafood cuisine, which means he is capturing water-type Pokemon, killing them, and cooking them. He was also Katie's teacher at one point, as she reveals he also knows how to bake. Larry uses normal-type Pokemon on his gym team, and flying types for his Elite Four team. This is likely a reference to the normal flying type being the most common dual type, since Larry is just a common guy. Rhyme's hair resembles a skeleton arm, further signifying her ghost-type speciality. Tulip, the psychic-type trainer, has fairy types on her team, and eventually fighting types. This is most likely to hard counter any dark types that trainers want to use against her. And Grusha. Grusha is a guy. He is also the first gym leader since Blaine, whose gym isn't located in a town or city. And that's a fact about every gym leader. Hopefully you learned at least one new thing, and if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like, as it does help out a lot. Subscribe for more Pokemon videos in the future, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.